Here is a really good exercise which encourages you to take action based on your values every day. And this is an exercise I use all the time and I get all of my clients to do. It's called Flavour and Savour and it comes from Act Made Simple by Russ Harris. Once we have spent some time thinking about and identifying our values, then sometimes it can be quite tricky to incorporate them into our daily lives effectively, especially if we've been living so long without doing that. And as we know, doing things that are valued and meaningful in life has a massive impact on our mental health and the quality of our lives. So what I want you to do is this. Tonight, or maybe tomorrow morning, pick two values that you want to focus on during the day. If you are new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching and you're not sure what I mean by values, then please watch one of the values videos that I will leave in the description below. So as an example, I might pick the values caring and intimacy. Those are two things that I really do value. So by caring, I mean caring towards myself or other people. And by intimacy, I mean being able to open up and share myself emotionally with those close to me. Then during the day, purposely look for opportunities to act on those values. So values give us a bit of a direction we want to head in, a bit like a compass point. It's not in itself an action that I can complete. It's not a goal. For example, I can't complete caring. I can't ask my wife how her day was and then tick caring off my list of goals completed. Caring as a value should be something that directs my behavior. So we translate values into actions that we can do. And throughout the day, there will be opportunities that come up for me to do this, such as when my kids come home from school, I can sit and spend some time with them and listen to them about their day and, and what's going on for them. Another opportunity might be when my wife asks me about my day, which she probably will do through experience. And instead of me just saying, yeah, it was fine, it was okay. I could show some intimacy and open up a bit and say, yeah, it was a good day. Unfortunately, this thing happened, which made me feel a bit upset or frustrated or angry. And then we can maybe have a short discussion about that. And I open myself up a bit more to her than perhaps I would normally do. So that's the flavor part of the exercise as we are flavoring our actions, our behavior with the flavor of a value like sprinkling those conversations I'm having with my kids and wife with a, a flavor of caring and intimacy. Now here comes the savor part. As you flavor your actions, then notice what that is like for you. Notice any difference. Notice how it makes you feel. Notice what happens to your attention and your focus. Notice if anything happens in your body. Notice the impact it has on those around you and how they respond to you and how it affects your relationships. And then continue to do this for the rest of the week. You might choose to use the same values each day or you could choose different values. You might just pick one value instead of two. That's absolutely fine. So to recap, we're gonna pick two values, flavor some parts of your day with them. So find opportunities to embody that value and savor the experience that comes with that. Then if you have a therapist, you can discuss your experience with them. Or if you're doing this alone, then perhaps you can jot down your experience in a notebook. Something that's really important in any type of therapy is this idea of tracking. When you try a new behavior, when you try something different, we need to try and understand what impact that has on us and what the outcomes are from that new behavior, from that new experience. And we call that tracking quite often. So by savior, we're trying to track. How, did it make me feel? Did it make me feel any different? Did it make me feel calm or relaxed? Did it make me actually feel a little bit more anxious as a feeling, but the response Bonds I got from my partner was more in line with how I want our relationship to be. So just because something feels more uncomfortable, 
it doesn't mean it's a bad behavior or a wrong behavior or a bad experience. If it's moving you in line with your values, then that's absolutely fine. Because that discomfort you're feeling, we've got a whole load of other things we can do to make you feel better at experiencing that. To maybe turn the power of that down a little bit. There's loads of things we can do. The important side is you've moved in line with your values and you've perhaps opened up more in your relationship with someone, which is what your value was. If you're struggling to identify your values, I have a whole values playlist on the channel. The channel is building up nicely now. I've got a few core videos about acceptance and commitment therapy uh, processes or concepts, and we are now building a little exercise toolkit for people to use. If you are finding this content helpful, then please leave a like and consider subscribing. That gives these videos a little push in the YouTube algorithm. And if you have found this helpful, then it's likely that somebody else will. So by giving it a like, by subscribing, it means that more people are likely to find my content. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Take care and goodbye.